Hey everyone, welcome and or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Mara. Thank you so much for stopping by. So in today's video, as you guys can see, my hair it is still straight. So I'm going to be telling you guys about some little things that I noticed now that my hair is hip length. If you guys did not know, we got some inches over here, okay? It's some inches. So in case y'all didn't know, my hair my hair is pretty long, okay? It's below hip length. So I'm just gonna tell y'all guys the little cons that I found the negatives of having long natural hair because everybody know it's good to grow your hair. That's that's our main goal is to have healthy long hair. But I feel like nobody ever talks about the other side of the long natural hair, okay? Because I've experienced this over the years but now it's on to like a new level since my hair has reached new lengths so so if you like this video definitely give me a thumbs up make sure you subscribe because we obviously like to grow hair here on this channel and let's just get right into it all right so i have all of my points on my phone just so that way we don't get sidetracked but the first thing that i've noticed since my hair has been long and i told you guys my hair shuts really badly i noticed my hair everywhere it's in the living room it's in the bathroom it's in the car it's on the floor it's in the kitchen it's on my freaking recording set my hair is literally just everywhere literally i can't even get away and say that it's not my hair because my hair is the longest in the house and it's everywhere like i'm at fault so if you have shedding hair and you have long shedding hair you are bound to notice it. It doesn't matter which color floors, which color walls you have. I have white floors in my bathroom, but the floors in my hallway is like a dark wood. And I can definitely see it. Like, it's in my sheets. It's on my bed. Like, it's too much. So the second thing that I noticed, and I feel like people who have short hair, they will definitely notice this as well. It's definitely happened to me even when my hair was short. But it wasn't on, like this extinct now since my hair is longer but you are obviously going to notice hair in other places um how do i say this like i feel like y'all know what i mean but like when you take a shower <laughs> you may find hair in your butt crack <laughs> oh my god what is wrong with me but that's literally where i find my hair and it's not like a short piece it's not like a single piece it's like long clusters of pieces that's there and y'all want to grow your hair long so that that's another thing to keep in mind it touches things that it shouldn't be touching okay so my hair touches the toilet seat that is not a sanitary thing because what goes on your toilet seat there we go in order for me to use the bathroom without my hair touching my toilet seat i would probably put my hair in my hoodie or put it up in a ponytail just so that way I don't have to go through all of that. So that is another thing to keep in mind since y'all want to grow your hair long. I'm telling you how it is because this is the struggle that I deal with every day. So don't say I didn't warn you. So now that my hair has reached hip length, it obviously sits at a lower on my body. And I do have a short torso. So the first week that I straightened my hair, my hair got stuck in the door of the fridge. And I didn't notice it until I felt like some of the pulls in my hair. It got stuck in the car door. It was windy and I was trying to hurry up and get in the car. And then it just got stuck. And y'all y'all can figure out the rest. So if you strands i lost a few strands from that also i was laying on my hair and i didn't notice it and i was doing something and all i just felt was like some strands just like rip out right in the front after like two weeks of me straightening my hair i went to sleep using my do-rag but after a while you just get so tired of just rocking your hair especially if it's like a longer length you just don't feel like doing it because it's honestly a workout so i stopped wrapping my hair after like two weeks so i put my hair in a ponytail and i literally sleep with my hair just like going up like that on the pillowcase just so that way it's not pulling i'm not getting tangled in my hair and my sleep or anything like that and it is out of the way and that is how i have to keep putting my hair when i go to sleep just because i'm not putting it up at night another thing that comes with having longer hair is you have more tangles so literally i can go and brush my hair and my brush will get stuck because tangles popped out of nowhere i honestly don't do much to my hair so the fact that there's so many tangles that i don't get it the number one thing that i hate with having long hair is that when i go to eat it gets in my food now it happened to me when i was waist length obviously i can put my hair up but because my hair is longer and even if i put my hair up it still literally looks like my hair is down while it's in a ponytail like it's still long and it's still touches my food even in the ponytail so 
it gets in my food and then you have like little crumbs of like condiments or whatever or your food in your hair and the thing that i hate the most aside from it getting in my food is when i eat my hair because i don't notice sometimes that i go to take a bite and then my hair is in it i don't realize that i ate my food until it's too late and you feel that little piece of hair on your lip and you go to pull it and it's a long strand of hair that's coming out yes as of right now like i said my hair shuts so much every time i brush my hair it's knotted and my brush literally looks like i comb through my hair 20 times because there's so many strands of hair in it and it just looks like a huge clump of hair when it's probably like 10 or 20 strands so it looks like i took all of the hair off of my head honestly kind of sad the last struggle that i have for you guys obviously if you are natural you know that this is the biggest struggle of us natural people i know it's a struggle for relaxed people but i feel like it's a struggle it's a struggle for people who have really long natural hair because you would know that it takes forever to do your hair you have to wash you have to detangle you have to condition you have to, you have to deep condition you have to detangle again you have to blow dry you have to heat protect it make sure you got that heat protectant and then sometimes you do two heat protectants you have to put your serums you have to put your serums to prevent further heat damage and you have to straighten you have to trim you guys know that it's a struggle just to do short hair even when my hair was short it still took me a while but as my hair got longer it obviously took me so much more longer so just having long hair in general waist length or hip length hair it's obviously going to take you more time to do your normal straightening routine or to do your normal wash and go just because you have extra length to your hair that you have to maintain and and take care of so so those are definitely some things that you need to take into consideration when you want if you want to grow your hair long like i said the positive outweighs the negatives but i felt like you guys should know because everything that i told you those are things that i'm experiencing now so i felt that it was only right that i told y'all this okay so guys if you like this video definitely give me a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one